Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I thought I would do a, another tech review. I'm actually gonna re-review the Microsoft Surface book. And that's because I feel like <laughs> the last couple of weeks, I've felt a lot of the pain of the bugs and problems with it. And I think my other review, you can check out my other review here, you know, a lot of it is still true. I, I like the form factor. I like a lot of things, but I want to go back and talk about some of the issues and, and sort of my my thoughts on it now as I'm thinking about actually changing this PC fairly soon, because, just because of all the problems I've had here. So let's take a look at it here. Um, you know, I like the form factor. It's hooked up to my other monitor and it's in, you know, the, uh, the repeat or the duplicate display so that's why it looks a little bit weird there but I think the form factor is great you know it doesn't weigh very much that's really cool I still like all that stuff about it I haven't really disconnected the the monitor like used it in tablet mode and I haven't really used the pen now part of that's my fault I could probably work it into my workflow but it just hasn't been as useful as what I thought the touchscreen capability of it I have not used at all really so that I thought I was going to use a lot more ended up not not using you know no fault of the device but when you're considering buying a device like this you might want to consider are you actually going to get yourself to use the pen are you actually going to disconnect it and use it in tablet mode are you actually going to use the touch and for me i found that i just i just wasn't and i mean i may try and adapt this but it's just i don't know i, I don't see myself doing it and i'm like why would i force my schedule or my my system to use it if it's not really going to be that beneficial to me it, it it seems good on paper but in reality i just never find myself doing it right in fact i disconnected i don't even walk around with the pen anymore <laughs> i just took it off of there it, it has a nice magnetic holder great idea okay so let's talk about the problems now that, that i'm facing with this one of the biggest problems i'm facing since i got this this monitor and and started using it which you can check out the review here on, on the monitor monitor is awesome it's a LG monitor and ultra wide but one of the biggest problems I'm having now is with the dock it, it's always been buggy right but now when I am running with the surface dock uh, it is basically overheating the, the laptop and things are slowing down to a crawl it's kind of crazy like I'll use Chrome or something and it'll just get super super hot on here I have this shut and this part will just get super hot and I've tried various tweaks and things to try and reduce that, but it, it just, it gets hot and then it, it throttles the CPU and it just becomes horrible to use. Uh, the other thing that happens is like, it constantly bugs out, right? They're constantly, like if I go in sleep mode and then come back, like the taskbar sometimes will be stuck. You know, the my speakers, my headphones that are plugged into the dock won't work. I think it might be a bandwidth issue with the dock. The dock just seems to be extremely buggy, unfortunately. Now, again, I dismissed a lot of the stuff because I was like, okay, there's a few bugs with it and you know, it's, it did get better, but it seems to have gotten worse again and the bugs seem to have gotten worse and they're not, they're not being fixed. And it's really frustrating because it's now gotten to the point where it's not very usable, especially I think because I've ha I'm having it docked more. Whereas before when I didn't have the monitor, right because when i moved here i didn't i didn't buy a monitor i was using it just in the in the the laptop mode which was totally fine it, it seems to work really well i mean there's still some bugs with that mode but the docking seems to really really just screw it up especially hooked up to an external monitor if it can't i feel like the thing can't power an ultra wide display without just overheating and that just that's just wrong <laughs> right i'm not even doing super graphics intensive stuff and playing games and stuff like that which that's what i was kind of hoping that the surface book would be powerful enough to do so yeah i mean i can't at this point i can't highly recommend it until that these bugs get fixed maybe the next version of it will be all right uh, i'm thinking about just getting a a beefy laptop that weighs more just because I'm not using the features like I said you know it's it's cool it has an awesome pen like all of this stuff is cool right and, and the way that they've designed this and how it disconnects but I'm just seeing too many problems maybe you know if uh, if anyone from Microsoft is, is listening and watching out I'm happy to review the next version of it uh, and see if, if this improves and and I would I would recommend it then if it fixes those issues but right now with all these issues it's just too much of a pain like it's really cool technology I really like want to love this thing 
but I just, it, it just, it's too damn painful. And I'm, I'm feeling the pain every day now. And that's what's, what's causing me to, uh, you know, to kind of change my mind on this thing. So yeah, I don't know if you've got some questions, leave some questions about it. But aside from those issues, it, it's, it's great. It's just that those issues are, are becoming more and more and, and just too much to handle. I think, you know, the surface dock itself, maybe that's the, the culprit. Here, I, I think they made a mistake with the bandwidth. I, I feel like because I have my camera hooked up here, my webcam, because I have my uh, microphone and everything else that is, is hooked into here, that it's just too much bandwidth you know, to, to, to handle here. And, and that's probably part of the problem. And obviously the, the screen is coming through there, right? Because this is the one interface. This is the one thing that you connect, which is great. It's great to have one thing that connects that has the power and, you know, and dock interface. But the problem with that is that you got to have enough bandwidth. You got to be able to power the monitor and everything that you're going to need in order to be an effective dock. And I feel like probably they made a bit of a, a mistake there not realizing that it, that it is just not enough bandwidth and I think that's probably part of the problem I think also you know the graphics card in here it, it just doesn't seem to be able to crunch hard enough I mean this thing is supposed to be able to power like 4k displays or multiple 4k displays I can't see that happening it just doesn't make sense maybe there's something wrong with my particular device hardware and maybe it needs to be replaced I don't know I'll, maybe I'll check with the Microsoft store but, uh, but yeah, so anyway, that's my update review. Uh, sorry for those of you that, you know, really, <laughs> like I said, I really want to love this device, but it's just getting too frustrating for my daily use. So anyway, if you like this review, uh, leave a comment below if you have questions and like the video. And of course, if you want more reviews like this and more computer software, all the stuff that I do here, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.